Welcome to What's Going Around, a weekly panel discussion where moms share candid stories about health issues their families have encountered. Well, sometimes it seems like allergy season is year-round here in Florida, but as we head towards the fall, triggers like mold and ragweed go into full-blown misery mode. You guys have kids with allergies, right? You've experienced oh, yes. this. Mm -hmm. It is sad. We just did our annual um, allergy appointment where they both had the panels done on their back to see oh. what they're allergic to. and That's hard. It's a whole bribe day. So then you get the report of all the things they're allergic to, and it's crazy just how many things we're exposed to here mm -hmm. and how sick it can make them. So I didn't know what it was. I just figured it was a common cold. Yeah. So my daughter had a runny nose for weeks, and I thought, it's just going to go away. And then it came back, and I was like, like what is cycle. this? <laughs> we have a huge oak tree in our backyard, and, you know, the dog brings everything mm -hmm. in. And so we have been instructed, if you can, remove the carpet from the bedroom, you know, put, like, these uh, special sheets on the bedding, underneath, like, casing, I guess. Cover the pillows. And, yeah. you know, how much do you love your dog? I'm like, no! I'm not getting rid of my dog ever. You know what I mean? Treating symptoms and loving up on the little allergy sufferers in your home is probably the best medicine from moms. But center care doctors also recommend looking out for more severe symptoms like tingly or numb mouth, swelling, wheezing, nauseousness, or a rash. That's when you definitely need to seek a medical professional.